Hey Cancer, welcome guys, thanks for tuning in today. Alrighty, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Okay, so today I wanted to do a read for your soulmate. So keep an ear, very close listening, because this might reflect the situation that you're in right now, uh, which would indicate that you have already found your soulmate. Otherwise, this is going to give you a little window into who's coming your way, who you're meant to be with. Uh, maybe they're going to need some extra understanding because just like the rest of us, they've had to deal with some heartache and they're having to sort of uh, do some emotional work there. And I got the cards bouncing all over the place already. So they are getting ready to go here. The powers that be are lining everything up. This one wants to pop out. So that's our first card. So into me I see, into me I see is a lot about uh, taking time to look within, to find inner truth, uh, who you are as a person. So they're doing some personal growth in all of this, some reflecting and sort of really truly looking into their own soul and their own heart uh, to try and find their best self. I have exposed and revealed this is all about being honest and authentic, being your true self and hiding nothing. And this is going to come from this work, looking within and recognizing these personal truths and maybe uh, areas that they, they can improve on or embracing all the positive, wonderful things about themselves and truly loving who they are. I also have Awakening Genius. This speaks of inspiration, guys. Uh, this is this is all tied into this into me, I see. This looking within to find the answers that they need. We also have a higher view, so they're going to be gaining some wisdom from that and some insight. And Time Machine, learning lessons from the past. This is part of what this is going to be for them. Uh, looking into the past, what they've done in the past, relationships they've had in the past, how they felt. Uh, or behaved and, and being able to within that find some insight and find some wisdom to move forward in their future and be a more authentic person, a more authentic self and no need to sort of put on put on any kind of a mask and wear their heart on their sleeve. So I also have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands represents overcoming obstacles while still working towards your goal. So this is speaking to this healing and this growth work that they're doing, uh, this personal work uh, from the inside. This is not speaking to anything in the outer world. This is speaking to what's on the inside, your heart and your soul. There's things that they're having to, to recognize, uh, to overcome, and, and to work hard to be able to change and move forward so they don't repeat the same mistakes of the past like the time machine is talking about. The hermit cards, the hermit card speaks of that need for introspection, that need to be alone, that need to look within. Uh, there might be a little bit of time before the two of you meet because they might need to take time to sort of be alone, to be able to find these realizations, uh, to come to these conclusions and to start moving in a, a more positive, authentic direction in their life. I have the devil card. So these are the things that they're having to overcome. This is the stuff that they're having to look within. This can be uh, something as serious as addiction, or this can just represent hurts from the past that have caused them to sort of shut down emotionally and block their heart. But whatever this is, this is their challenges that they're having to overcome. That is what the devil card is representing here. The Ace of Pentacles speaks of new beginnings, guys. Uh, pentacles can speak to finance. I don't know if we're going to be speaking about finance. This might be something that they're going through in their life as well. Maybe looking for a new job or looking to start over and rebuild because of something that came to an end. I also have the Queen of Wands. Interesting. Uh, so the Queen of Wands is somebody with a very fiery energy. Uh, she's very driven. She's very passionate. Um, Wands is indicative of a fire sign. So this might be somebody who's um, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. And this could be speaking to your partner's energy as well. And being able to, to heal from hurts from the past and find that passion and drive, that awakening genius, that inspiration to move forward. I also have the Nine of Cups. What a great card to get. This Nine of Cups is all about abundance. It's wishes being fulfilled. Cups is about emotions. This is speaking to what they're going to be getting from the inside. So this card is still not tied to you yet. This is speaking to their healing work and finding this within themselves so that they can move forward and they have more to offer somebody in their lives because they're in a different spot uh, spiritually and emotionally and mentally. 
the six of wands. The six of wands represents triumph over challenges. So whatever this is that they're dealing with in life, uh, these obstacles they're having to overcome, these inner truths they're having to delve into, uh, this wisdom they're searching for, they're going to be able to achieve this. They're going to be able to achieve success and to start to move forward to build this new beginning, to find this nine of cups in this abundance. The four of cups. So this is part of this is part of what's going on with them right now. This Four of Cups represents that emotional withdrawal, sort of closing into themselves, that into me I see, taking time to sort of, um, I don't want to say shut the world out, but really take time for themselves. Uh, take time to look within and find the answers that they need so that they can heal and move forward. And the Ace of Swords, so the Ace of Swords represents triumph. And at the end of the day, it is speaking to them finding happiness, them finding success, them finding their soulmate, which is you. So they're going to be able to do this healing work. They're going to be able to get to a place where the two of you can come together and build a life. But this is something important that they need to do for themselves right now. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed your little window into your soulmate's life. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.